take your t-shirt, fold in half and trim out the neckline. Using a rotary cutter makes this a nice clean cut. Same cut on the front and on the back. Turn your t-shirt inside out and cut out the sleeves at the armholes and you line up the sleeve cut out with the rotary cutter. As you get used to this, no need for a template or anything else. You can do this. Sleeve number two, same process. Lay flat, cut out the armhole. If your rotary cutter doesn't cut it on the first cut, go through it once again. No more fuzzies. We are ready for our sleeves. We're going to move over to the serger for now. Sleeve number one gets two seams. One seam along the sleeve edge, one seam along the armhole edge, and I will cut the top of this pocket. Sleeve number two will only get a seam along the armhole edge. This will be the fold in toable pocket. Sleeve number one, cuff edge seam. So and cut at the same time. And armhole seam. Park it. Sleeve number two. Armhole seam only. Basically try to keep things lined up so that you don't have so much waste. Make the seam and cut the seam at the same time. In my serger setting I do not engage and disengage the knife. I keep the knife engaged at all times and simply watch for the lineup so that my seam is clean and the edge is cut off. I'm ready for placing the seams. Okay, and now I'm going to line up pocket number one. Oh wait, I have to show you. Pocket number one needs to have the top cut off so that I have a reaching spot. T-shirt fabric once cut doesn't fray and the edge will maximally roll a little bit but I do not have any fraying therefore I can just make a clean cut. I'm placing the seam along the folded side edge and I'm going to sew it without cutting anything off meaning I need to line it up to the inside of the knife so that I have a clean edge. The sound of the serger is a little bit different. I don't have any cutting happening. And sleeve number two. This is the fold in toable pocket. The top of the sleeve edge faces up. The sleeve seam gets lined up with the folded side. And I'm going to sew it on. Same thing, no cutting off the edge. And set. Now I will sew the bottom of the t-shirt. I will make the seam and cut off this bottom edge. It's too many layers. I would be snapping needles if I double up these layers. All the way across. Now I have to cut out two corner gussets and make my gusset seams so that my t-shirt bag has a bottom and we are done with the sewing or serging. I basically cut a two inch square out of the doubled up bottom layer. One, 
two cuts. Now I will take this seam, pull these inside corners, line up this edge and sew. other side and the bag is done and two shakes this is the deep pocket for your money and your keys this is your fold in toable pocket for carrying the t-shirt when you're not using it. Alas, the t-shirt bag when you're not using it. Turn your t-shirt bag inside out and infinitely washable, infinitely reusable t-shirt bag. Go make a ruckus like Seth Godin told me. I'm trying to do it mostly over the table here. Okay. So, your t-shirt bag has two pockets, number one for money and keys, number two the fold in toable stuff in toable pocket. You can actually take this, put your hand inside and lumpy bumpy bunch your whole t-shirt inside, t-shirt bag in a pocket or more meticulously take your t-shirt, lay it flat Fold twice, make an enchilada, and pop, stuff, done. So Ina, I've known Ina for over 15 years since I've lived here in Lake Shawnee in New Jersey. And we both are kind of on the same wavelength of making our world a better place. And Ina has started a new mission called the Bagtivist. And it's very interesting. It's a way that she's going to make a change in this environment, as well as what we're hoping to do as everybody on this earth makes one little change in the environment. So I have a question for Ina to answer all of you. And that question is, Ina, what is, why, why do you have this mission? Um, I grew increasingly frustrated in having a conversation inside my head about what people can do, uh, reading a lot of things that just really made me frustrated, um, hearing a lot of things about what's happening to the earth and realizing that I needed to bring a very sim single-minded, tangible thing to people. So what's more tangible than old t-shirts being turned into infinitely washable, infinitely reusable bags. More and more communities are passing bans on plastic bags, but I don't believe that that is putting the agency in people's hands on what to do about it. So my reason, one bag at a time, I can change people's mindfulness about changing their habits. I think that's so important. I think if we all take charge rather than waiting for a government entity to do it, this world will ultimately be a better place. Absolutely, and it's just bringing that bigger picture down to an individual level. I personally haven't used plastic bags in probably 16 plus years, um, simply because at one point I made a decision that I will never ever take a bag in a store again. That's a plastic bag, a paper bag, and I've carried that commitment forward. If each person decided to not use a plastic bag, I think there's something that can happen from this. Three plastic bags worth of groceries fit in a regular standard t-shirt bag. My 30 pound dog fits in a t-shirt bag. Two baker's dozens ears of corn fit in a t-shirt bag. So guess what? All it takes is remembering to bring your bag along. With a known old t-shirt, that becomes something very doable. 
Here we have it. Total awesome sauce. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. <laughs>